Hello everyone and welcome to Woodworking by AWV. Today I want to do a bit of a review on the 10 inch cobalt dual bevel miter saw. Model number on this one is SM2517LW and I'll include a link down in the description to the big blue box store where you can pick one of these up. Now I am a beginner woodworker, really an amateur, so this was actually the first tool that I bought and really I bought this tool honestly I bought it to cut down my hockey sticks because we used a chop saw to cut down hockey sticks when I was uh, younger. Now being this was the first tool I really bought price was really one of the big features and right now in Canada this saw is retailing at just under $300 Canadian. Some of the reviews that I saw online that were negative about the saw was it can't really align. Uh, you weren't getting square cuts, dust collection, the laser alignment, and the actual on-off switch. So let's take a look at uh, some of those negative reviews and what my thoughts are on them. So first off, uh, the switch. A lot of people have complained on the actual motion for the switch. I don't have an issue with it. I think it uh, it's a bit of a safety feature. You can't just pull. What you have to do is roll down the safety trigger, then you can pull the switch. Uh, some people have said that this little safety lever has broken. I haven't found that. I've had this off for two years now. Uh, it does take a little bit to get used to, just the roll and pull motion, but I really don't think that's a big issue uh, with this saw. Okay, now in regards to the saw not cutting straight, I will admit the fence isn't square out of the box. There are a few adjustments to make, most notably the bolts on the fence itself. Another issue I had with it not cutting square was the blade. Once I replaced the blade uh, with the Diablo blade, I noticed I was getting a lot cleaner and more square cuts. Uh, what I'll do now is just show you the bolts. There's bolts down on the fence right back in here. Uh, if you loosen those off, you can adjust the fence itself. Uh, it took me a while to get that square. Uh, another issue is the positive stops for 90 degrees. Uh, that took a little bit while to get dialed in and straight to cut square as well. One thing with this saw is if you do move it around a lot, it will come out of alignment. So you do have to spend a bit of a bit of time getting it back square. Okay, so in regards to the laser, the laser is a bit off, but I have come to terms with the fact that the laser is more of a guide and not really used to make precision cuts. Uh, there are some adjustments to move the laser a bit. The issue with the saw is they are, they're behind the blade guard, so in order to make adjustments, you really do have to move the blade guard to dial in that laser. But again, I say the laser is more of a guide than used for precision. Uh, as far as the dust collection on the saw goes, yes, it does suck. And I don't mean that in a good way as it sucks up dust. Uh, in past, I had been running my shop back directly to the dust port on the back of the saw. I really did notice that the shop back hooked up was clearing out dust any more than without the shop vac. So I've honestly stopped using the shop vac with the saw. It will collect a little bit of dust in that dust bag in the back, but for the most part, yeah, dust collection with this saw is really non-existent. Now for some of the features I really did like about this saw that weren't really mentioned, it does have uh, these pop-up stops. So for making repeated cuts, uh, you can butt your piece up against that. It does make that going a lot easier if you are making repeated cuts. So that's definitely a positive to this saw. Uh, one other thing with the saw that you need to be careful of is with the adjustable wings. Uh, at one point I had it all the way over and tried to do a bevel cut and took a spot right there out of that wing. Again, being an amateur and beginner, uh, you learn as you go, unfortunately. 
Luckily that was just a tool and not a personal injury though. So that's one thing to be careful about with this saw. Uh, another nice thing about this saw is this clamp that it does come with. You get your piece uh, up against the fence. Tighten that down back there. You can clamp your board down so it's not moving anywhere. So that's another nice feature about the saw. Now, one of the other things I mentioned was the blade that came with the saw. It was a 10 inch, obviously 10 inch being a 10 inch saw. It was a 60 tooth blade from Cobalt. And I did replace it with this Diablo blade. Uh, the saw has cut a lot better since changing the blade. Uh, I'm not getting as much tear out. I do feel it gets uh, straighter, more accurate cuts. Whether that's because I have the saw a little bit more dialed in than previous, uh, it's hard to say. Changing the blade out on this saw is a bit of a task. Uh, but once you get it changed out and put back on, you kind of can set it and forget it. Overall, I do like the saw. I will say for more accurate cuts for things like picture frames, I am using my table saw for that. For projects around the house or for the yard, uh, for doing a fence, this would be a great saw. Another thing, the saw is really easy to transport. I have it bolted down to my workbench, but you can lock that down. There's a good handle. The saw is not overly that heavy. Uh, I'd say about 40 pounds, so it's pretty easy to transport. So once again, this is the 10 inch dual bevel miter saw available from Lowe's. Product number on it is SM2517LW. Uh, if you have any other questions uh, you want answered about the saw, please feel free to drop a comment below. If you'd like the video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see everyone on the next video.